Mexican cartels are on a whole different level compared to gangs and mafias around the world. From taking cars in broad daylight to attacking innocent civilians and even ambushing cops. These cartels have no fear. I mean, they even attack the military. Crossing paths with them usually ends in tragedy. But can these folks make it out alive? Get ready for some heart-pounding action as we dive into our list of Mexican cartel encounters that will leave you terrified. So buckle up and be ready for anything. Let's dive right in. Number 1. Chalno Sanchez On May 15, 1992, in the heart of Culiacan, Chalino Sanchez found himself facing more than just a song request. Opening what he thought was a harmless note from the audience, his expression quickly shifted as he realized it was a grim message from a Mexican cartel spelling out his impending death. But did he let fear stop the show? Not a chance. Wiping the sweat from his brow, Shalino demonstrated the true spirit of an artist confronting death head on. He kept singing without a crack in his voice, never missing a beat. Why the cartel targeted him remains a mystery even to this day. Perhaps it was his outlaw persona. After that, he had to flee to the USA. He used to carry a pistol with him every time, even when performing on stage. Just months before this concert, Chalino was involved in a gunfight at a Coachella concert after refusing to sing El Gallo de Sinaloa to one upset fan. His songs, loaded with stories about cartel members and locals, portrayed a picture that didn't sit well with those in power. So, when he took the stage upon returning to Mexico, the angry cartel took action. The next morning after receiving that note, his lifeless body was discovered alongside the highway, blindfolded and abandoned. Despite his tragic end, Chalino's legacy lives on. His music continues to echo through the decades, with over one and a half billion streams on Spotify alone, a reminder of the unbreakable spirit of a man who dared to sing in the face of death. Number two, American tourist. Now four Americans caught in crossfire are missing. The soaring healthcare prices in the USA have folks looking for alternatives abroad. Take Latavia McGee, for example. She, along with Eric Williams, Shade Woodard, and Zindel Brown, jetted off to Matamoros, Mexico to get more affordable tummy tuck surgery. They hatched a plan to split driving duties and hit the road on March 3, 2023, crossing the border with high hopes. But their journey took a terrifying turn when they heard honking from behind. Before they knew it, a pickup truck loaded with gunmen was on their tail. They made a split-second decision not to stop, and chaos erupted as bullets flew. Their vehicles collided, and amidst the chaos, Zindel and Shaid made a run for it only to be cut down by gunfire. Eric tried to flee, but ended up taking bullets to both legs. The gunmen, wielding assault rifles, dragged the Americans into their pickup trucks. As it turned out, their abductors belonged to the Scorpion faction of the Gulf Cartel, mistaking the African Americans for Haitian drug smugglers working for a rival gang. During the abduction, a stray bullet also struck an innocent bystander, Areli Pablo, claiming her life. Four days later, security forces found them in a wooden shed, with the bodies of Wooded and Brown lying lifeless. And just two days after, five men were discovered at the abduction site with their hands bound, accompanied by a note from the Gulf Cartel extending apologies to the families of Pablo and the deceased Americans. The note stated that these individuals were the involved culprits and were being turned over due to lack of discipline and poor decision-making. What McGee thought would be a transformative journey for her body left her traumatized for life. Number three, cartel toll. So 
You know how tolls usually go, right? You hand over some cash to the government, and they are supposed to turn around and make those roads smoother and infrastructure better for you. But hey, this is Mexico we are talking about, where cartels have more pull than your average politician. Instead of shelling out to the government, you're paying off the cartel to leave you alone. They are not just asking for a few bucks here and there. Nah, they are counting heads like they are running a bank, man. It's wild. This encounter showcases the sheer power of drug cartels to stop a car in the middle of the highway and ask for money, then count it like a banker standing there. This is kind of sickening to watch. And when the car driver here is short on money, casually holding the phone between his shoulder and head while talking, he asks them to add more, as if it's his own money, and he's doing them a favor by reducing the amount. And you know what's even crazier? The people in the car just go along with it, no questions asked. It's a messed up world down there in cartel territory, no doubt about it. Number four, cops ambushed. In this footage, we can see some Mexican officers wrapping up a taco feast at a restaurant and hopping back into their truck. But as they start reversing, a guy steps out of an SUV parked on the road and bam! Gunshots start going off, courtesy of some not-so-friendly drug cartel members armed to the teeth. Quick thinking kicks in as they duck for cover, scrambling out of the car. One cop takes cover behind the white car, while another hunkers down behind the engine block of their pickup truck. After a tense round of shooting, the attackers decide to retreat, and as soon as the cop hears the gun stop, he jumps back into the truck, grabs his rifle, and starts firing back, giving those cartel cowards a taste of their own medicine. Funny how those cartel tough guys were all brave when the officers were caught off guard but the minute one of them started firing back, they were nowhere to be found. Even the getaway driver doesn't waste a second, peeling out of there to avoid the officer's bullets, leaving his comrades behind. Number five, roadblock. Approaching the red light in Nuevo Laredo, this car driver encounters something straight out of a nightmare, a group of gangsters from some cartel stepping out of their car. The motorist is aware that this is not only a threat of carjacking, but can also escalate to something far worse, like being abducted or even killed by these ruthless cartel members. But with tons of adrenaline pumping through his veins, he manages to stay surprisingly calm and make perfect use of his driving skills. First, he reverses, then, finding a gap, he guns it forward. When another car from the cartel blocks his path, he smoothly maneuvers his semi-truck, riding up on the curb to get around it. Now that's some serious driving skills in action. Number six, military stop. If you have ever doubted just how dangerous cartels can be, this video is about to flip your whole perspective. These multi-billion dollar cartels aren't your typical gangsters. They're so powerful that they are willing to take on the military to protect their turf. Like in this footage, just days before Christmas 2022, a Mexican army convoy patrolling the streets of Nuevo Laredo was attacked by a cartel believed to be Los Zetas, or the CDN, which splintered off from them. At first glance, this video appears to be from an early 2000s Middle Eastern battle zone but it's a recent attack by a strong cartel on the military. Talk about daring moves. This clip not only showcases the training and expertise of cartel commandos as they take on special forces, but it also serves as a disturbing reminder of how little respect these cartels have for authority. While other criminals may flee when the military arrives, these cartels perceive them as simply another threat to their power. Number seven, bird watching gone wrong. Aaron Paisant and Logan Howard, bird watchers and YouTubers, decided it would be a good idea to travel to Mexico to take pictures of some foreign birds. But they didn't anticipate the things they would encounter other than birds. Driving down a dirt road in Tabasco, 
a pickup truck speeds up behind them. Paysant pulls over, polite as can be, only to find the truck packed with gun-toting dudes. Before they know it, they've got guns pointed right at their heads. For a moment, Paysant considers hitting reverse and gunning it, but he wisely decides to throw his hands up in surrender instead, begging the cartel not to shoot. As both men start to panic and Howard's left hyperventilating, these tough guys suddenly switch gears, calming right down and assuring them everything's cool. Paysant's still pleading for their lives, saying, please don't kill us. The gunman asks, what on earth they both are doing out there in the middle of nowhere? They tell them they were just here to see some birds and take pictures. Now, while some folks might have labeled them as a vigilant village group, keeping the area safe from cartels and not the actual cartel, it's still enough to send shivers down your spine, right? Guns pointed your way is never a good time. But surprisingly, not only do they let the duo off the hook, but they also give them a heads up about potential trouble further down the road. Gunman tells them that the cartel people who would capture them if they went on this road won't be as merciful, so they should just go back the way they came and get out of there. After this nerve-wracking encounter, the couple was so spooked, they ditched their car somewhere down in southern Mexico and took a flight back to the States instead of braving the drive back. Can't say I blame them. Number 8. Hospital Heist A bunch of heavily armed hitmen from the Santa Rosa de Lima cartel busted into a Mexican hospital, grabbing the security guard and forcing him to lead them straight to their target. The several cartel members tear through the hospital rooms and two of them emerge, carrying their stretcher-bound target on the shoulder of one hitman. Talk about chilling! While it was a scary day on the job for the security guard encountering cartel, he survived. The poor guy they captured wasn't so lucky. Within hours, his body was found near a roundabout, accompanied by a message. Who was this mystery person, and what did the message say? Well, that's a secret the authorities aren't spilling anytime soon. Number 9. Loud Alarm in most countries, bulletproof armored SUVs are usually associated with special forces and the military, but don't go thinking this one belongs to the authorities. Nope, this bad boy is straight out of the cartel's arsenal. And let me tell you, those Mexican cartels are better equipped with ammo than the police force. In the dead of night, this cartel bulletproof armored SUV rolls up, creeping along the streets. The whole neighborhood's snoozing away, but not for long because these cartel members are about to stir up some trouble. Next thing you know, those full auto assault rifles start blazing, shooting up some houses in the rural outskirts of Macoken. Why? Who knows? And if that ain't wild enough, they start busting out rocket launchers or grenades, blowing up the house. Seriously, if you ever find yourself in the path of one of these things, how on earth are you supposed to defend yourself? It's like a scene straight out of an action movie, except way scarier because it's real life. Number 10. Highway Robbery A cargo truck was cruising down the highway to Chichimaquias when suddenly an SUV pulled up in front of the truck and another one alongside it. Out of both vehicles come five armed men, guns pointed right at the drivers. One of them even tosses a rock at the truck's window. Facing that kind of threat, the cargo truck drivers know they have got to put their lives first, so they throw their hands up in surrender. Next thing you know, the robbers open the truck's door, force the drivers out, seize control, and drive away. Once they have stolen goods from the cargo, they abandon the vehicle on the highway, leaving it for the cops to locate later. Number 11. Danger Zone in 2009, a Mexican reporter was updating people on the situation of a clash between the Gulf Cartel and the police, but things heated up quickly. When he heard the gunshots, he quickly ducked and started breathing heavily. Both the reporter and the cameraman realized the danger they were in. 
The reporter tried to catch his breath and continue reporting, but the sounds of full auto rifles were now accompanied by huge explosions. He lies down on the road and tells the cameraman to cut. Number 12, showdown. Now we have the body cam footage of a Mexican police officer encountering an ambush by the Juarez cartel, but he's not one to get scared. As soon as the car stops, he gets out and charges forward while shooting, then retreats to reload. Watching these videos, my brain just malfunctions that this isn't some gameplay, but real life footage. Number 13, cartel protest. The gunmen of CJNG went on a rampage in 2022 after the Mexican army arrested some of its leaders. Here's one clip where a poor family became the victim of the cartel's anger. They just stopped a car on the highway by pulling in front of it. Then the gangsters came out of their car, brandishing guns, and demanded the family to leave. The family stepped out with the mother holding a toddler in her hand. These guys just have no heart. They burned their car, leaving the parents stranded on the road with a toddler, all because one of their bosses was arrested. They burnt more than a dozen cars, and not even grocery stores were safe. They were bursting into stores, lighting them up on fire. Number 14, Operation Black Swan. One of the most powerful drug lords to ever walk the earth, Joaquin Guzman, better known as El Chapo, now is locked up behind bars, surrounded by layers of security with no chance of escape. But getting him there? Man, that was no walk in the park. Leader of Mexico's biggest cartel, the Sinaloa cartel, El Chapo got arrested not once, but twice. And get this, he managed to slip out of some seriously high security prisons each time before they finally caught him in the operation Black Swan by the Mexican Navy in 2016. The Mexican Navy here is raiding a house in the city of Los Mochis, up in northern Sinaloa in the early hours of January 8, 2016, and they ain't messing around either. Before storming in, they are tossing grenades to make sure they blow up any kind of security in their way. But you think El Chapo was just sitting there waiting to be captured? Nah, this guy had a secret tunnel built for days like this. He managed to slip past the special forces of the Mexican Navy, but lucky for them, the federal police intercepted him a few kilometers away. Now, imagine being those forces, going up against someone as powerful as El Chapo. That's enough to make anyone's knees shake. But these guys were determined to nab him or make sure he ended up six feet under. Number 15, unusual funeral. You have probably seen people leaving flowers at funerals, right? But get a load of this. We have got the leader of a cartel, all decked out in his final resting place. And what do you see? Weapons, my friend. I mean, are they paying their respects or just making sure he's ready for whatever afterlife awaits him? You be the judge. Number 16, messed around. Some folks out there really underestimate the consequences of messing with a cartel boss just to get a bit of attention. Take Juan Luis Rosales, AKA El Pirata de Culiacan, for example. This guy blew up on YouTube by posting videos of himself getting wasted, pulling dumb stunts, you name it. And get this, he was underage the whole time. But did that stop him from gaining fame? Nope. Soon enough, he's making friends with celebrities, getting invited to big parties, and even getting featured in music videos. But all that fame went straight to his head, and he started thinking he could say anything and get away with it. So one drunken night, he goes and insults El Mencho, the big boss of CJNG, one of the deadliest cartels out there. And wouldn't you know it? Come Monday night, he's at a bar with his buddies when armed men roll in and let loose with more than 15 shots. It was a brutal end for the 17-year-old YouTuber who, let's face it, was a reckless influence but still a child. He needed some guidance, but before he could even think about turning his life around, he had to go and cross paths with a drug lord and paid the ultimate price for it. Number 17, Wrong Way. Looks like just another peaceful cruise down the highway, right? But hold up, why are those cars coming this way? Wait a second, 
you can clearly see that this is a two-way road, and the way towards the dash cam's POV is on the opposite side. Turns out, these folks are hauling tail to escape from having their cars swiped by the cartels. This wild scene went down in the city of Lagos de Moreno, over in Jalisco. Watch as that white SUV gets cut off by one of those cartel trucks and then slammed with a brake check before pulling over to the side of the road. Now, why the lady driving didn't just flip a U-turn to throw the cartels off their game, I'll never know. But it looks like she's finally trying, however, a little too late. The other cartel truck we saw cruising past, well, it spotted the white SUV stopped, and now it's fair game for them to snag. Before the poor couple in the car could even think about fleeing, two gunmen, one packing a pistol and the other an assault rifle, had them in their sights. They are forced out of the car, and just like that, the cartels have themselves another set of wheels for their illegal collection. Number 18, Beach Chaos. On November 4, 2021, tourists were chilling on Cancun Beach, soaking up the sun and enjoying some beach volleyball. But suddenly, out of nowhere, more than a dozen gunmen in ski masks rolled in on a boat crashing the peaceful scene. Gunfire erupts, sending everyone diving for cover, darting into hotel lobbies and hallways for safety. Turns out, these 15 commandos from a cartel had a bone to pick with two rival drug dealers claiming beach territory. While it's pretty typical for cartels to go after street-level dealers to boost their sales, you can imagine how freaked out the tourists must have been by the whole incident. Thankfully, no innocent lives were lost in the chaos, though one poor soul caught a bullet to the hand. Ouch. But hey, it's a relief it wasn't worse. Still, not every tourist lucks out and escapes these nerve-wracking cartel showdowns with just a scratch. It's a wild world out there, and that's a wrap on these disturbing encounters with Mexican cartels. Some people were able to walk away from these traumatizing experiences and share their stories. Others were not as fortunate. Their tragic deaths, as well as the fact that the criminals are still at large, is a scary reminder of how dangerous these cartels are to society. Did you ever have a terrifying encounter with cartels or thugs? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this coming your way. Until next time, goodbye.